did you know that there is no such thing as physical enemies? Welcome to our inaugural show today on KGFT Radio, 100.7 FM in Colorado Springs. This is the Seabine Prayer Brigade, and we are gathering together as a home group to encourage the body of believers in this time of uncertainty. My name is Linda Forsythe, and I'm here with my co-host, JoLynn Live, and we are going to be talking today about faith and what Jesus told us, what it was that the things that we would be able to do, which just as a, a little bit of a teaser, starting out in Matthew 17, verse 20, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. Now, when he said this, he wasn't just saying it as an offhand comment. That was a very deep truth that many of us are trying to learn, even to this day, on how that is applied. But we can't do it by our own physical steam, so to speak. There's something much deeper. So how do you let go, let God? Joe Lynn, who is joining with me today, I wanted to let you know just a tiny bit about her background. She has a Joe Lynn Ministries that uh, is it, so filled with the Holy Spirit. It's beautiful. That's where I'm very blessed to have her with me as a co-host today. She is so multi-talented. And this woman has a singing voice so filled with the Holy Spirit that it is spellbinding listening to her. And also, she sang the national anthem to President Trump when he was in office, to give you just a little bit of an idea. So we'll talk about that more later. But thank you again, JoLynn, for being willing thank to work with us Thank you for the very together. kind words. Thank you. Well, you know, um, when it comes to faith, that's a lot of times easier said than done. I mean, we say that we want to move forward in faith. And then also uh, Jesus promised us that through his Holy Spirit, that we have this power that, I mean, with the verse that I just said, moving a mountain from here to there. And you were talking to me the other day when I was speaking with you about some issues that I was having. What is it that, um, why don't you repeat to our listeners exactly what it was that you said that helped right. me? Well, I think that it's really important that we recognize that we don't have physical enemies. If, if we really believe scripture, if we believe what we say, and if we believe what we say we've read in the Bible, then we have to also agree that we don't have physical enemies. Uh, scripture says that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against powers and principalities in heavenly places. So if we don't wrestle with flesh and blood, that takes all of that off the table. We think about coworkers who we might be mad at. We talk about uh, road rage on the freeway. Uh, we might have disharmony in our home, in our marriage, with our children. Uh, the list can go on and on and on. But if we recognize that our, our, we wrestle not against flesh and blood enemies, that takes it to a whole different level. I think it opens our mind up, our eyes up to a spiritual realm that we typically don't see. Obviously, God didn't create most of us to see the spiritual realm. That's what he asked uh, for us to have faith in. Faith is what pleases him. So he shows us things through faith and through the word. So in putting that into perspective, and we know that the enemy is real. We know that he shoots fiery darts. Scripture tells us to put on the shield of faith to ward off the fiery darts. There's, there's so many attacks that come and he does use people, but the motive isn't from the people. The behind the scenes is the enemy. So you were telling us, you were telling me about these 
crazy wasps that you have in Texas. <laughs> you said they were what, three inches long or some crazy number length like that. I can't even imagine. And we at Sea Vine have had so many attacks over the past quite a few months, each one of us in our own families, um, our you know, with health issues, financial issues, we could probably collectively cover every issue that is a, an imaginable situation. And, but if I don't wrestle with flesh and blood enemies, then my, my wrestle is with the spiritual realm. He doesn't want us to encourage the body of believers. He doesn't want us to get the truth out. And we know in scripture, if you know the truth, the truth will set you free. He doesn't want us to be set free. The enemy wants us to be held captive. How are we held captive? In our fear, in our worry, in our concern, in our depression, in our despair. Those things aren't from the Lord. Those things are from the enemy. So if we have our armor put on the full armor of God so that we will be absolutely um, ready for battle, and how much armor? All of it. So I suggest that we read Ephesians 6, and maybe I can, I can read that in a little bit here, because it does talk about each piece of the armor that we should put on and why. It says to put on the full armor. So if all these fiery darts are coming, who's to say that the enemy didn't send these wasps to torment you? In your new home, in your new location, you thought that this is, you know, you felt God leading you there. And then all of a sudden these wasps are there. So I thought if we wrestle not against flesh and blood enemies, but against spiritual principalities, why not pray them away and ask the Lord to take the strongholds down and command that they leave? Yes. So what happened? <laughs> well, that's what I was going to say when you said that to me. Because I want the, the, everyone that's listening to hear uh, to know, I mean, I haven't been around, I'm, I'm not afraid of wasps or bees or whatever. That's just not me. Uh, I came from California and a year ago, for some reason, this is why I, I'm bringing this up. For some reason, my home in California, uh, my bedroom was on the second floor and I saw these hordes of wasps flying around outside my window and I thought oh there must be a nest there no big deal uh had it gotten rid of and then a, a couple weeks later they were back right next to it and there was a bunch of them just nowhere else around the house just above my window and this went on for months nowhere else and when I would be out walking um I, I one wasp came and just zipped right in and sat on my face I mean I didn't even see it buzzing around me it just and <laughs> kind of just went it there and I didn't move and you know just breathed or whatever and, and then it took off but slowly but surely little things were continually happening where it was building up to the point I was developing a phobia I thought, how am I drawing these things to me? Move to Texas. And I know Texas has its issues with wasps, um, but this was different. This was, uh, you know, th there were swarms of them outside. Okay, well, it's another wet uh, nest and had it sprayed, but it didn't take care of them. And then there was this three inch, I kid you not, the hugest wasp I've ever seen in my life floating around in my room. <laughs> and I found out later that it was called a cicada killer, which they look like murder, the murder hornets that they're talking about. I looked it up because it was bright yellow, red, and orange. And I looked it up. I mean, huge, real thick body. And it, it looked exactly like a murder hornet. But they said, don't worry, you know, these aren't, they do. Don't speak. worry. <laughs> They, they do sting, but only if you they feel attacked, they're not as aggressive. But all I know is I was afraid to go outside. I was afraid to go out and do anything. It was getting ridiculous. I was developing a phobia. And that's what I was telling you about it. And it's like, I, I can't do this. And you go, have you tried praying them away? And it just, what? <laughs> 
just you know, bugs, you know, pray it away. And I really thought about that. And, it, and then I thought, well, why not? You know, I'm not asking them to, you know, have them be, I don't know, zapped out of the sky, so to speak, and just let them go their way and stay away from me. And so I did that. And I called you up, as you know, and I said, you know, it could be because, you know, the spring a couple of weeks ago finally kicked in. It could be they just suddenly, I don't know, they're out of season. It could be a lot of different reasons. But all I know is they were gone. They were gone. It, it felt different, too. I can't explain it. Whereas before, I don't know, you have that, that predatory feeling of being watched, yeah. <laughs> which is what I felt like before it's like that feeling was gone yeah I believe that it I felt in sense that it was a spiritual attack on you and you know the glorious thing about being a believer in Christ is that that when when the enemy fell when Satan fell and his his you know the devils and uh, not the devils what am I saying the demons fell God gave them dominion over the earth but through the authority of Christ, we have uh, dominion over them through the word of God. We can remove strongholds through Jesus Christ, through the blood of Christ. We have that authority. Um, he gave that to us. Like when Jesus was calming the, the winds and the waves, when he was with the disciples and they said, who is this man that even the winds and the waves obey him? He gave us that authority. And so we shouldn't be surprised that even the winds and the waves and the wasps obey him because we're not acting in our own authority. We're acting in the authority of Jesus Christ. Winds we the waves been... and the wasps, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but all that to say, he gave us that authority. We, we don't have to be afraid. In scripture, 365 times it says fear not or do not be afraid don't be afraid fear not isn't it ironic that it says it 365 times and we have 365 days in a year i believe that he felt so strongly that we don't have to be afraid even of three inch wasps we don't have to be afraid of the fiery darts that the enemy throws at us because we wrestle not against flesh and blood. We wrestle um, against powers and principalities in heavenly places, but the battle is the Lord's. Our wrestle, we don't have to wrestle. Our battle is the Lord's. So if he is taking up the, the battle, all we have to do is rest in him by faith. And you exercised your faith and you commanded those wasps to leave and they had to obey you. If it, if our wrestle is against um, principalities in high places, and I believe it was for you because look at the end result, they're gone. Hallelujah, they're gone. Well, you know, we should let everyone know that um, I don't know what happened, but just before the show today, Joe Lynn, um, you know, stopped us from starting. She goes, just a minute, I've got to kill this spider. And apparently <laughs> there was, I don't know what they're called, but um, they're big. And you're in what, Washington State? I'm in Washington State, yes. And so the great big honking spider, I mean, I don't care for spiders either, but it was just interesting, the timing I know I haven't seen a spider in my home for months and months and I typically have to spray. It's time to spray again, apparently, but isn't it ironic that we were distracted by a bug. Yes, something, a bug. <laughs> It's amazing. It's, it's yeah. like uh, Satan knows exactly where your little uh, triggers are. Right. So and, and it's all, all of these distractions are keeping us from staying focused on the Lord, staying consistent in our faith, staying in the word. It's all these little distractions. We all have them. It's called life <laughs> and spiders. We all have spiders in our life, but 
what's really, really important is to know that we have been given authority by Christ to overcome the enemy. We do not have to live in defeat. It's not his will that we live in defeat or fear or sadness or sorrow. He has overcome the world. And yes, all we have to has. do is step in that with faith. Do well, you we're... mind if do you mind if I read Ephesians 6? No, please do. So I was reading that this morning. I was just very, very encouraged by it. Um, it's, it's about putting on the whole armor of God. So a final word, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power, put on all of God's armor so that you will be able to stand firm against all the strategies of the devil. So it's the armor that we need to put on. So we for we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, there we go, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world, and against evil spirits in heavenly places. Now, that in itself could be very discouraging and, and fear facting, but we don't have to stop there. Scripture goes on in verse 13. Therefore, put on every piece of God's armor so you will be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. Then after the battle, and of course, the battle is the Lord's, you will still be standing firm. That is a promise. We can claim that promise. Stand your ground, putting on the belt of truth and the body armor of God's righteousness. For the shoes, put on peace that comes from the good news so that you will be fully prepared. In addition to all of these, hold up the shield of faith. Faith is what pleases God. So we can hold up that shield of faith to stop the fiery arrows of the devil. Put on salvation as your helmet and take the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. So the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, the word of God is how we fight our enemy. And the word in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. The word is Jesus Christ. We've already got everything we need to fight off the fiery darts of the enemy. It's very important to get into the word through our faith and to understand that the battle is the Lord's. We don't have to be afraid. That was so beautifully said. You know, it's uh, pray it away. If there's something that's tormenting you or, right. you know, whatever demonic uh, spiritual battle is going on, uh, we've been given the authority through Jesus Christ. Yes, and we have. Yes, so, we have. Well, I want to uh, let everybody know that these shows that are going to be coming each week, and in some cases, multiple times a week, if you have any prayer requests, please send them to my email address, which is Linda, that's L-I-N-D-A, at cvinenetwork.com. It's all one word, cvinenetwork.com. And uh, please put in your prayer request. Uh, we will be starting at the end of each show uh, to be able to pray over all these that are coming in to us. We would like to turn this, uh, this radio show into something that can be used for home Bible groups, because especially with the pandemic, and there's many people that are still homebound, or maybe there's still uh, people that are in fear to leave like I was because of the wasps <laughs> that to be able to come to you please also be aware that not only is this on uh, KGFT radio uh, but we are videotaping this and so if you would like to see us as we speak for those of you that already are you can tell this but we have we're on YouTube we're also on our um our website, c-vine.com, c-vine.com, and it will be under Prayer Brigade, which we have on the website. It's actually a news site, uh, but we the people coming together, we the people, when two or more are gathered in my name, says the Lord, Right there will I be. So <laughs> we're going to work through all these very trying times together, all these attacks together you're not alone 
you are not alone. And joining all of us together brings all the more power to fight what has been attacking us. JoLynn, could you close in prayer? Absolutely, absolutely. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for the testimonies that we have in our life, because when we can see your hand working through our story, we are empowered knowing that you hear our prayers. You are walking with us every single day because of the faith that we've placed in you at that time of salvation. That's never going to go anywhere. Lord, I just thank you so much for this wonderful testimony of the wasps, you know, just, just how they, how they tormented Linda during this time. But she realized that she had the authority because of the authority you have given to her to just pray them away, command that they leave. And through the word, you have given us that authority. Lord, we thank you that we don't have to be afraid. We, we, we don't have to be afraid in walking with a sick husband or a, a wayward child or a job loss. Lord, we know that whatever you allow in our life, you're going to walk through it with us. And if we detect that the enemy is there, Lord, because we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual enemies, well, you've already got that taken care of. That time when you were on the cross and you said it is finished. And on the third day you raised from the dead, you have overcome death and give, given us a newness of life. Lord, I thank you so much for what you've done in my life. Thank you for holding my hand as I've walked through the, the fiery darts of the enemy. I do not have to be in a sinking feeling of despair or despondent or sadness or sorrow or grief because I know that one day the hope that I have in you is going to come about by me having eternity with you. And I thank you so much for what you've done. And Lord, it's not just in my life, but in the life of every single believer. We all have a story to share of the goodness of God. We thank you so much for what you're going to do today. And I just, um, I just ask that you would encourage us through the word, through one another, um, and just knowing that we do not have to walk this life alone. Thank you so much for Linda. Thank you for Seavine and the, the, the ministry that she wants to put out an encouragement for each and every person listening and watching this. So we say these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Joellen. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm coughing through this. Everybody, please come back every week. Um, if you can't listen to us live, then please listen to the recording. We're also on uh, YouTube, social media, and again, the website. If you find us on social media, please give us a like or become a member of our website. We could use all the people we can to come together to be able to fight the enemy. Yeah. This is KGFT Radio, Linda Forsyth on Seavine Prayer Brigade. Good day, everybody.